Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 620. The category will be The Big Bang Theory. This is a 20 question trivia quiz with a question 21 tiebreaker at the very end. All of these questions are about the television show, not the scientific event. The television show, The Big Bang Theory. Thank you guys for watching, and good luck! Question 1. The 21st prime number, and its mirror the 12th prime number, and the mirror of that is the product of multiplying its two digits. What is Sheldon's favorite number that, when written in binary, is also a palindrome? His favorite number is 73. Question number two. Throughout the show, Penny had several boyfriends and significant others. What was the first name of the first guy on the television series that Penny was involved with? Penny's first boyfriend on the show was a guy named Kurt. Question 3. Named after his father, what is the name of Sheldon's older brother who was mentioned several times in the series before he makes his first appearance in season 11? The answer is Georgie. Question number four. At the 1995 Dixie Star Trek convention, Sheldon suffered a 10 hour long bus journey of personal torment, only to find out that what Star Trek actor who he wanted to see was not in attendance. He went there to see Will Wheaton. Question number five. For most of the show, Sheldon works as a senior theoretical physicist at what private research university, the same one his three friends, Leonard, Howard, and Raj, all work at also. The four of them work at the California Institute of Technology, or Caltech. Question number six. The history of everything is the theme song of the Big Bang Theory. It is played after the cold opening of each episode and was composed and performed by what band? The answer is the Bare Naked Ladies. Question number seven. As seen in the season two episode, The White Asparagus Triangulation, what is the area that Sheldon is looking for when finding the best possible seat at the movie theater? The answer is the acoustic sweet spot. Question number eight. On the show, if you take a look at some of the merchandise and the sign on the door, you can see the real name of the comic book store owned by Stuart Bloom is what? The full name of the comic book store is the Comic Center of Pasadena. Question number nine. Some of his hobbies and interests have included 
Tibetan throat singing, comic books, and paintball. But what form of transportation does Sheldon enjoy both in real life and in model form? The answer is trains. Question number 10. Occurring over half a dozen times between seasons 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, when questioned about his sanity, what is the phrase that Sheldon Cooper most often uses as a retort? When someone calls him crazy, he says, I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. Question 11. Howard wanted Rocket Man to be his astronaut nickname, and while trying to get the other astronauts to call him that, the plan backfired when his mother yelled at him while on the webcam. What became Howard's nickname? The other astronauts began calling him Fruit Loops. Question number 12. In the season 11 finale titled The Bow Tie Asymmetry, Sheldon and Amy were married with Leonard as the best man and Penny as the maid of honor. Who was the officiant of the wedding? The answer is Mark Hamill, who played Luke Skywalker. Question number 13. Appearing in several episodes, what is the name of the YouTube and podcast show that Sheldon produces and stars in that Amy eventually assists with to teach vexillology? The answer is Fun With Flags. Question 14. Sheldon reveals that Leonard's middle name comes from a famed anthropologist with whom Leonard's father had worked. What is Leonard Hofstetter's middle name? The answer is leaky. Question 15. Throughout the show, Sheldon often references his weekly laundry night. What night of the week at approximately 8.15 p.m. does Sheldon normally do his laundry? The answer is Saturday. Question 16. In Season 2, Episode 11, what gift does Penny give Sheldon for Christmas that caused him, in turn, to give her all the gift baskets he had purchased, as well as their first ever hug? She gave him a napkin signed by Leonard Nimoy. Question 17. In later seasons, it becomes something of a catchphrase. What word is used by Sheldon Cooper to signal that what he said immediately before this utterance was to be taken as a joke? After he said his joke or made his prank, he would say, Bazinga. Question 18. In the season finale of The Big Bang Theory, titled The Stockholm Syndrome, 
Sheldon and Amy were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. Sheldon and Amy won the award for their discovery of what? The answer is super asymmetry. Question 19. Penny worked as a waitress to pay her bills, and before she graduated and got a job with a pharmaceutical company, Bernadette also worked at what Pasadena restaurant for a time? The answer is the Cheesecake Factory. And question 20. A song sung by Sheldon's mother when he was ill. What is the next line in the children's song that begins with Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur? The next line is Happy Kitty, Sleepy Kitty, Purr, Purr, Purr. Alright, that is it for today's trivia. Thank you for watching. As you may have noticed, it has been an unproductive weekend in trivia. This is actually Saturday's trivia and it's coming up a couple days late. We did do trivia all weekend. But I've got a buddy that was leaving the country today, so we had to record all of the UK Trivia Week that's coming up in a couple of weeks before he left. So we did a bunch of trivia this week, and I did not have time to do this weekend's trivia. So now we have seven trivia quizzes done for a couple weeks from now, and today I'm catching up on the trivia that I did not get done this weekend. So bear with us. I'll probably upload a few quizzes today and get back on track by tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Here's question 21 for today, the tiebreaker. For the whole run of the show, what object hung on the back side of the door in Leonard and Sheldon's apartment? There was a specific item that's visible in almost every episode and it's on there from seasons 1 through 12. It is a dartboard. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.